What was the combo for Nord Mead again? Yeah, Nord Mead was a while ago now. Cooking simulation. Is it time for Nord Mead 2? PC is doing very well market share wise at the moment. Oh yeah, action. That's true. We need something action. We need like modern warfare or something. We could do the uh, superhero action. What was that? Captain Mordred. Or Captain Viking. Crikey, what was it called? Captain Viking, that was also a while ago. Superhero action for kids. I think we're going to do this. It's a fairly safe bet. Superhero action. It was called Captain Viking, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. Superhero. Young. Action. Captain Viking 2. Still going to be on the game link. It's going to be made Longbeard. 2D graphics. And this is going to be engine, gameplay, story. No level editor. AI. I mean, it actually says AI is super important here. Game Convention G3, Mordkov, Captain Viking 2. That's a lot of people looking, considering we have 9,000 fans. Forty-six thousand visiting. Oh no! It seems that Warcraft had quite a few undiscovered bugs when we released it. Some of the customers having a bad time. They demand that we patch the game. Is that why it did badly? We should either spend the money and time to patch it, or ignore their pleas. If we want to patch the game, then click on a character and use the action menu to develop a patch. To make sure you don't wait for it too long. You develop patch. Ah oh, crap! We're on stage three already. Uh. Graphics, really important. Sound, slightly less. Less world design. And marketing. Magazines and demos. Today, Vony has announced their very own console and called it the Play System. Apparently, the company has completely reworked the earlier Play System prototype after Ninvento cancelled the project. The new play system comes with a CD-ROM drive and 32-bit processors and is wholly owned by Vony. Industry professionals say this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles and Invento declined to comment. The play system will market enter the market in two months. Okay. And we patched it. Sequels! <laughs> Damn it! I saw that orange bug. Whoops, finish. That 
That's a really good tech record, actually. Level designs up, world designs up. Let's release it. New research available, day and night, and stereo sound. Okay, that's some serious research that we need to get done. Uh, sequels. Stereo sound is expensive. So I think the next engine is going to be the stereo, stereo sound. But hopefully with version 2 3D. Can't actually afford the training. Uh, you go ahead and generate the t report for Captain Viking. First reviews have come in. Seven, six. Beautiful, okay. Good game. Maybe get medium games. Yeah, probably. Let's get some contract work done. Character design is almost entirely designed. Five weeks, loads of time for one person. Today, the new game platform play system by Voni has been released. I love companies like Mordcorp. They don't just milk their customers for more money, but also understand the concerns and make sure we can enjoy the games. You're welcome. Game report. Engine seems to be very important for this type of game. PlayStation, or pl platform audience match. Gameling Young, great. There's the sequel. What's required for medium games? Okay, we can get that now. Then let's have you guys doing a contract. want it to be a fairly decent mix between different requirements. I mean, this one's super fast. We can bang that out in like a week. Okay, slightly more than a week, apparently. I follow the progress of Mordkov for a while. It seems that your recent expansion, you started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come in handy. A publisher will market and publish the game around the world. They can also help fund the development. In return, they keep most of the profits, but since the game will sell a lot more, it's usually still worth it. I can put you in touch with some publishers you can look at for some available contacts. Just let me know. Find publishing contracts being unlocked is accessible in the action menu. Using a publisher is a great way to get your games in front of a large audience, which in turn helps you grow your fan base. Once your fan base is big enough, you can self-publish your larger games without the need of a publisher. For medium games, you should at least have at least 100,000 fans before you publish them yourself. Yeah, so we're a ways away from that. To use a publisher, you need to sign a contract. The contract will dictate what game you need to create. Pay attention to the details, most importantly the minimum score that the contract dictates. If the game you release does not meet the minimum score, you have to pay a penalty, which can be costly. It's also important to pay attention to the royalty rate. The higher the rate, the more money you'll make from the contract. I'm not going to do this just yet because you need a vacation, which means more contract work. Especially design. Yeah, this one won't be very quick. No, maybe not. Okay. One thing I'm noticing is you're really slow. So I need to speed you up some point in the not so distant future. So, let's take a look. Can't do that. Business. Master V, which we'll need to pay more for. Fantasy Action. Blue Bit Games. It's Blue Bite, isn't it? A Strategy Romance. 
Fantasy action. See, this I think would be good. Although minimum score of eight is pretty high. How much is a Master V license? And also, 10% market share? Yeah, I'm not convinced that's a great idea. I think we want to get something on the play system. Action is still, I believe, in. That's an expensive license. I think it's time for us to make a 3D action game. Space action? Let's just take a real quick look here. Um, game history. Space action, 9.5, Viking Wars. So I think this is going to be Viking Wars 2. Where did all the money go? We just invested in a bunch of things. And also, we just haven't been making as much. Which is annoying, because I did enjoy it when we were hanging around 2 million. But hopefully this one's going to help bring in a bit more cash. It says don't do medium size until you have 100,000 fans, which we don't. This is going to be 3D graphics. See how it does. Okay, so engine, super important. Story and quests, somewhat important. Gameplay, I'm gonna make a little bit less important. This is gonna be all about the engine. Not adding a level editor, AI, very important. Dialogue less so, level design a little bit less so. Do that. Marketing magazine demos. Uh, not going to make this open world, I don't think. Graphics still super important. Let's turn sound up a little bit more. And world design to about here. See how this does. This is kind of an important one for our company. Yeah, we do have poor graphic, 3D graphic ability. And our games are consistently really good designed, so we really need to get Jamie better training at programming. Everyone's saying medium. We can't do medium. We don't have a hundred thousand fans. Not without a publisher. And no publisher was offering anything I wanted to make. Alright, fingers crossed. First reviews. Bugger. Okay, it's not terrible. They should at least recoup the money. 6.5. 6.25. Damn. Considering this was a 9 last time. 
So, you get training in speed. You generate the game report. And you research day night cycle. Seems the market has normalized again with no particularly strong trends at the moment, so we just missed the action. Oh no, we, we sold for a week. 18,000 units. Okay, this one's selling okay. And you go on holiday. Game report. What happened? Level design is quite important. Platform genre match. PlayStation action is great. Yeah, I expected that. Let's see if we can do a simple contract. Oh, you're back. Good. And you've just finished. Alright, let's see what publishers are wanting. Romance Sim Business. Master V. No. No. And you want romance. I mean, we could research romance to just try a romance strategy. They only want a score of six. And this is a good way of getting more fans. Alright, let's try it. Seeing as we did just get the PlayStation... Uh... License. So, you... Research. Romance. Why does this feel like a colossal waste of research points? Contracts! Seven weeks? It's a long time. Go on. You're just not fast enough with the technology stuff. Come on, churn out some more points, otherwise we're going to lose this contract. In two months, the Vayner gear will be taken off the market. Come on, dude. There we go. Game convention. <laughs> Do I have to go? I don't want to. Alright, publishing deal. Super test, no. Cooking! Oh, it's on the Vayner. Damn it. Gameling action game. You only want a six minimum score. This is a shoe in. And this is going to be a medium, medium game. So, what are we doing here? Any action. Medieval action? Space action? I think it's time for a space action game. What space action game did we do before? Oh, we literally just did Viking Wars, which was a space action. What other action games do we have? Superhero action. We could try Captain Viking 3. Yeah, let's do Captain Viking 3. School action beat up the bullies like bully. Is that what the game was called? I know that um, Rockstar did one. This gives a totally new meaning to Romance of the Three Kingdoms. <laughs> this is gonna be for the young. Ah. 
and we're going to go back to 2D graphics because I'm pretty sure that the uh, Ninvento can't handle this. Sorry, the Gamelink can't handle 3D. Creating large games is a significant task, and unlike small games, one person cannot effectively be responsible for every aspect of the game. To create a good game and to make the best use of your team, you'll have to assign which of your team is responsible for which areas. Pick team members whose skills match the area to get the best result. When you assign a team member responsibilities, you'll see their workload. Try, to not, try not to overload them too much. How do we do that? So engine, very important. I think I'm going to add a bit more gameplay. So, ah, I see. Well, engine is surely tech. Gary White from Game has got word the more corps working on a new game. Would I be willing to share some information on it? Yes. I think it's going to be great. Level editor? No. So level design is apparently really useful. So let's do that. Level design is going to be Rene. <laughs> Jamie's going to be left <laughs> with dialogues. No. <laughs> Should target kids in 20 years when loot boxes are researched. Oh, and this is the booth. Working on Captain Viking 3. Last time we had, what, 11,000? Yeah, I know, Rally. Rene is allocated twice. Both of those are design tasks. Vayner Gear is no longer supported. I... Do I want to do this? I don't know how far into the red we can go, but I'm going to risk this. Because we're definitely going into the red here. Okay, so we can get up to 200,000. And we're in the final stage. Alright, so graphics. Really important. Rene, congratulations. World design, not so much. And then I think I'm going to add a little bit more to sound. So Rene is going to be overworked here, I'm sorry. Can I put more people? No. Contract payment. Oh, that's how we get paid for that. This is a really heavily hyped game. This is really going to be a make or break. Do you need to advertise with the publisher? I think you'd still do. We are amazing at 2D graphics at this point. And Jamie leveled up. That's good. Increasing experience. Jamie now wants to get paid more. Branching stories are now available. Game review. The first reviews are in for the newly released game, Captain... Viking 3. I need to get at least a 6. Ah, we've gone bust. This is it. Game over.
Game doesn't live up to expectations. Penalty contract. We need to get paid. Alright, we're still under 200,000 penalty. So you... Game report. Where did we go wrong? You... Research... I don't think I want to research any of those. We need to do some contracts. Just to stay afloat here. That's a nice easy one. Okay, we're making money. More contracts. Let's get these quick ones out of the way. No, I'm good. <laughs> I need my money, thanks. Another contract. Playtesting sounds fine. Then I want you Huzzah! to get faster while the rest of us do some more contracts. Destroy and Azuma, thank you very much for the resubscription. Seven months now. Guess who has seven months? If you guess correctly, you get 400,000. Maybe. Um. Last contract is a tech contract, which I can't really do. Alright, I need to send you on vacation now. Terrible timing. Well, I guess we can continue researching. We did want to get stereo sound. Oh, I forgot to see where that went wrong. We did make a profit of almost half a million. Superhero action games just don't do as well as they used to. Okay, you're back. Alright, what deals are available? Any genre hospital game with code Meisters. <laughs> Minimum score of five. So this is basically going to be theme hospital. Wait, is this strategy or simulation? Probably simulation. And this is definitely on PC. Ooh, PC's got a really nice market share at the moment. Sim. Yeah, I thought so. So what do we call this? The Mordspital. <laughs> 